Hey, we're Whiskey Fancy. I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. What do you have today, Kara? We have Stellum bourbon. You're so excited. I am. So Stellum is put out by Barrel Whiskey. Yes. Is it Barrel Whiskey or? Barrel. I'm getting them confused barrel. with the Nashville Barrel Company, so. Barrel. Barrels. Okay, so I'm excited because there's so many things that are put out with, by Barrel, but it's kind of on the pricier side. I yes. would say it, between like seventy and a hundred dollars, and sometimes even a little bit more, depending. I like the older think, stuff. Yeah, I think isn't it like their four or something like that rise is like seventy or eighty bucks, and then like the seven year rise is like one hundred and ten ish. Yeah, so we're excited so gonna... because this is around fifty to sixty dollars. Fifty dollars here. And so it's a, a lower entry for us to try what the barrel company is and doing. And the bonus is that it says it's cast strength. So if it's a little too hot for your palate, you could always water it down into where you like it. And it's from um, Indiana. It doesn't say that. Though. Oh, the rye does. Sorry. Oh, okay. No, Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Oh, it's a blend. It's a blend. Okay. That's what it is. Oh, so the rye's coming in hot at... 58.12% which And the bourbon is 57.49. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is. It's a blend of Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. The um, Barrels are starting to do that even with their normal expressions that oh, are used around 109.99. Right. They usually say that now with, with Tennessee. Now, it used to be Dickel, and then they were doing some other blends, and then now they've added All it free, back. Huh? Yeah. Oh, fun. Well, I'm yeah. excited, and I think we should try the bourbon first. Okay. We'll do that. Oh, just because blue is your favorite color. It is. Hmm. I'm wearing blue. It's pretty. Am I your favorite today? It is. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. My favorite. Considering today. I'm the only person you've seen today. That's true. This is. It's a little perfumey, isn't it? It is. It's a little bit of um, ethanol on it. Yeah, it's a little sharp on the front. Yeah. But hmm. it's it's uh, it smells familiar. It does. I don't Maybe know because it smells be. like bourbon. Yeah, the legs. Yeah. There is no age state. Yeah, so. Well, it's a straight bourbon, so it's at least four mm. years old. I'm not getting anything but. It's really light. Floral and. Um, I get a little bit heat. of something on the back end that maybe I would guess is oak barrel. I mean, it's a little grassy. I could see yeah, that. Grass. That's weird because mm. I usually get grassy smelling on uh, yeah. rice, but mm. let's go for it. Let's go for it. Good news is. I'm not getting the pronounced dickel on it, so that's good. Oh, what's that? It's got a little uh, sharpness to it. Right in the back end? But it's, um, do you get almost like salty? There's something like, right? I don't oh. know what it is. Okay, um, you know those uh, candies mm. that are sometimes like dried fruit that have a little bit of salt on them? Almost no. like a Mexican candy? That's not pure... Oh, the oh, no, no, it's not Mexican candy. It's an Asian candy that's like salted plum or something. No. Okay, I'm crazy. You know why? Because I wouldn't eat that. That just sounds weird. I think there's a candy salt like your that. fruit. There, so right on the right... Wait, what's with salted cantaloupe? That's just disgusting. I don't know. Sorry. So right on the finish, when it goes, it gets a little sh ting of sharp, I get like a very pronounced fruit flavor <laughs> before it goes to like that. I think that's where you're getting the saltiness. Right at the end. I don't know what that is. That's fascinating. It's got like a zing. Bing! But why does the proof show up so late? It does. It's not bad. Mm -mm. I do not dislike it. I think I was expecting more though. Does that make sense? Yeah. Would I buy it again? Yeah. But I wouldn't. Well, I'm glad, it's a, of it. I'm glad it's a, um, $50 as yeah, opposed absolutely. to $90. Yeah, I would be upset if it was another price, but I would definitely buy this again. It's not very complex, but it's not singular. Like, it's kind of in the middle of the road for me. I'm not getting a lot of... There's no, like, deep, dark cherries for me, or... There's this weird note that I'm, that I'm perceiving as, like salt it's honey but it's not salty it's honey on the front oh yeah it's it's got some sweetness to it it's not a creme brulee or a toffee but it, it, it tingles has my spices. mouth on the mid palate yeah like a whole tongue and then after that right before it goes to the finish is is that weird i perceive it as maybe a salted fruit something and right. the finish is barrel barrel mm -hmm. um 
little bit of oak presence on the back. But like, definitely, it drinks every okay. bit of its fruit. Yeah, I know I'm, it's coming almost um like a peanut shell to me with the salt. As I keep drinking it, I can it. see that. I can see that. I know how you perceive peanut. Yeah, but not like a gem bean. No more. Oh, or a more, Heaven Hill. It almost leans. It. it doesn't. It's, it's a different. Heaven Hill Dusty Peanut without the finishing of the uh -huh. the peanut funk. It's yeah. just like it tastes like um, salty peanut shells. Mm. Just on the finish, though. Mm. Try again. It is slightly herbal, though. From bourbon. Right on top. Mm-hmm. I'm confused. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all, because it's so different. But hmm. I would keep going back to it to figure out what I'm tasting What here. is this? Yeah. Hmm. It, I enjoy it it's for cool. $50. It's not like anything else that I currently have. I couldn't have. compare it to something else and be like, oh, if no. you like this, try it. This tastes exactly like it. No. I don't think it reminds me anything of anything no. except for like the, the dusty peanut shell. But it's yeah. not like, oh... That's definitely all um, like as a seven or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is different. It is different. In a, it's not spiky. So it's you could tell that like, they blended it down for a certain profile. Right, but, it's but there's got like heat. a um there's a heat yeah. on it that I think when I, you say it's not spiky, I think it's spiky okay. in the mid to finish. Like normally when I get ethanol, yeah. it's right up front. Mm -hmm. This is it this is delayed. This heat is almost like a red chili pepper to me. Not a pepper, like a black pepper. That could be why it makes my mouth tingle funny. Mm. Very weird. It's not a traditional okay. like black pepper. -y. I think we should try the um the the rye when you're ready. Oh, <laughs> that's why. That smells like a rye. Yeah. I, I don't know. Do you smell something super sweet right on the front? Right um. with the herbal chilliness? I'm just getting all I get herbs, herbs. but like fresh. Almost like fresh sage and dill, almost. almost. And there's something, there's something sweet right behind it. Like, I got it. Yeah. It's super sweet. I don't know what that is. That is weird. Okay, this is gonna sound weird. Nope, I'm sure it's correct. But you, what is that called? It's not honeycomb. What is it? Where is that? Um, usually covered in chocolate, and then it's. It's a sponge. The sponge thing. Some candy places call it honeycomb, and some call it like a sponge. That's why I'm confused. Is it honeycomb? But it's super honey. It, that that smell right there. Yeah, because it's super. But with something. It's very very sweet. Hmm. But you get the herbs right, like the. Okay. It smells like fresh dill and sage. Almost. Wow. That's right. But. It's muted down. Oh. What I dislike about a rye. And it it's made it work. Horrible. Yeah, but it's not, um, that's all that you have. So you get it's a like, lot of honey on the finish. Yes. So it's it, almost it, caramel. It kind of rounds it out. So like how I don't like the traditional really strong dill or mint or herbs kind mm -hmm, of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's there, mm -hmm. but it rounds it out so nice that I can continue drinking this. I like it. Has more flavor and complexity than that. It's not weird. It's just we can't. There's something right in the middle that I don't understand, and I think it's the the salted fruit. I get, I get like this weird salt flavor. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I want to see what the salted plumber is you're talking about. You have me intrigued and grossed out at the I'll, same time. I'll have to look it up. I swear, huh. I swear there's a, like a salted plum situation going on in maybe Asian candy. I'll come back to it. I'll figure it out. That sweetness helps me. It's like pure honey. Yeah. Okay, so I like the second so, sip after the first. I've acclimated yeah. to the pronounced herbal front in the mid palate. It's it was super, it was like mm. too much dill that I didn't want because I wanted something a little bit more caramely. And I think my palate is acclimated to it. I think the sweetness. Mm -hmm. helps me actually keep drawing towards it 
Like, if that wasn't there... That's actually a really balanced, um, sweet, it, herbal it is. It is. situation. I can see I how some people that like that strong punch of herbal... They and like that. They might not like that. Oh, it's the not... You think it's... The sweetness might oh. deter them from... I don't know. Because normally, I gravitate towards rias that are very caramely, very clovey, yeah. and uh, spicy. Yeah. This is more herbal, dill, but then it wa mm -hmm. caramel washes over the back. Mm -hmm. This is how I... 58.12. Oh, it doesn't drink yeah. as hot as the yeah. bourbon does. That's funny. No. I, okay, so after taking some time with it, I, I like it a lot better than the first sip. It's yeah. very good. Um, it, the, the Almost like the mintiness with the uh, dill was almost too pronounced at first, but now I get so much caramel that's playing with it. It tastes really good. Going back to the bourbon, yeah. I almost get like a, a deep, dark, like almost a cacao bitterness around the mid palate yeah something that's like dark do you think that's what we tannin. thought it was salty at first no that salty was still there and that's not it where's the salty from? The, uh, the bitterness that i was getting i think is the cacao where is that at the end it's sort of right before. where's the salt the salt is like a uh, transition from the mid palate to the finish and then it ends in cacao for yeah, you. Yeah, the bitterness. And I, I thought that was like an oak barrel, and you, you're perceiving a little bit of cacao. I just came from the rye, so that could be it distorting it as well. Because mm. I don't remember tasting that strong of a bitterness. Could be coming off of this herbally rye. I like them both. Well, these are fun. I definitely like the rye butter. Side by side. There's more flavors that yeah, are familiar. It's more complex. It doesn't like it does a nice smooth transition. It's complex, but yet this is confusing because I haven't figured it out. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I think it's mm -hmm. a really good yeah. exploration, especially at the about fifty dollars. Much easier to try than the a hundred dollar normal offering from Barrel. Correct. So I think they're fun. I, I recommend trying them and mm -hmm. see what, what flavors you can pull from them. So thanks for joining us. If you like what we're doing here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn your notifications on. And join us in our next video. I don't know about you, but I'm fancying this whiskey. I fancy this whiskey. Cheers.